Hi, my name is Joel. I'm the owner here of Ancient Precision Painting. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we go about quoting painting your walls. So there are four main factors that we take into consideration when we act, we're actually quoting your walls. So the first one is going to be the amount of furniture, furniture there's in the room and if we have to move anything out of the room. And obviously that will take a little bit more time for the guys to move everything out. So that's where we have to adjust our, our pain quote a little bit. Um, the second factor is going to be how much prep there's actually going to be on the walls. So if there's a lot of wall hangings, a lot of uh, nail pops, maybe a hole from a door that slammed into the wall. Those are things that we have to take into consideration because we have to do the prep work, the proper prep work and the drywall work beforehand so that way the, the mud is dry. So when we actually go to paint, we can actually paint over it without any, any uh, bad repercussions. And then the third factor that we take into consideration is the type of paint that we're gonna use on the walls. So most walls and most builder grade paint is gonna be your flat, regular paint. Um, it's not very washable, wouldn't recommend that really if you're going to repaint your walls unless you're looking at cut costs as much as you can. Um, so the most the common type of paint that we use is eggshell and that's because it has enough sheen that uh, it has that washability but it's not too shiny that it, it's unattractive so those are the main factors and obviously the higher the sheen we go the more the price of paint is going to be so that's another factor right there. And then the last factor is going to be just how much masking we have to do. So if you can actually take a look at this bedroom, so if you can do a little pan around this bedroom, you'll notice that we have this enamel wall here. Now, if we were just going to paint this bedroom, I know sometimes it comes up, isn't it faster to just paint this bedroom uh, because you're only having three walls? Sometimes that's not truly really the case because we have to mask off that wall. And so masking will always take more time and actually just painting and just you know just rolling um so this this case the masking and, and the cutting in zone is going to be around the same thing so that's what you just know little thing and a little nuance of interior painting that's more detailed work than actual you know the labor and, and painting um and so that's one of the things that we have to consider when masking off another thing is going to be floors so if this carpet is going to be replaced then we don't have to worry about it but if we have to mask off the floors and everything obviously it's going to take more time and as well you know about outlets removing those and if we have to mask around those or you just want to take them off which usually we just end up taking them off but those are the little things and the four main factors that you know again that'll affect your walls which is you know amount of repairs on the walls the type of paint that we use the amount of masking that we actually have to do and the fourth one being how much furniture if we have to move any furniture from the room so now let's actually get into the pricing of your walls. So for a bedroom like this, typically uh, if you go online and search up how much will it cost to paint my walls here in, in the area in the local region of Kansas City um, and down south also like Olathe, Lenexa, Shawnee, Overland Park, all that region. Um, so according to Smart Asset, hopefully you can see here from the screenshot I took is uh, so you'll notice it says anywhere from 150 to 350 per square foot. It, that's what the cost would be for your walls and then according to home advisor which is a the biggest company that actually advertises and works with homeowners it would be around uh it would be around 350 to, to that's an average of square foot and but it says that it's anywhere from two to six dollars a square foot which again you know it would be if you had walls ceilings trim that would be close to the six or two would be just maybe just walls so Using their way of pricing, um, Home Advisor actually comes in at for a bedroom like this. They come in. Let me do the math here real quick. They come in at seven seventy five for a bedroom like this. Now I don't know about you, but that's pretty expensive for a bedroom like this. <laughs> and then let's try the the Smart Asset way, which they said was around two fifty a square foot, just right in between. Um, so it would be at. Five, around 575 which is it's closer if maybe if you do a maybe luxurious the most expensive paint maybe you can get up there um, but where we actually came in and the way we quote our things if you notice they did for a square foot what we do is we take the square foot of the walls so that helps us keep our quotes accurate because we're actually taking the wall surface area the area that's actually going to be painted not off the carpet or off the ceiling square footage 
So where we come in was at 475 and the way we quote our walls is anywhere from 75 cents a, a wall square foot to anywhere to 85 cents a wall square foot. That's typically the price you know in between there. Um, but a good trick to do at your house if you want to quote your walls your entire house real quick would be just take your square footage of your house and multiply that between two to 250 a square foot. And that'll give you a good price range with a good quality of paint, which we always price out our, our walls with a good you know, quality of paint, like Super Paint Velvet, which is again, it's that eggshell sheen that uh, will be washable. And so again, if you wanna do a quick, just estimate of your walls or any bedroom in your house, just again, do it from two to 250 or right in the middle 225 and you'll get a good ballpark idea of how much it will be to paint the walls. So I hope you found this video helpful about how we actually go about pricing your walls. And just to do a little recap of, as far as the factors that actually affect the pricing for the walls. So again, it's the amount of prep work on the walls, the amount of furniture we have to move, if any at all, um, the amount of masking we actually have to do on the floor, and if there's any trim, any crown like this bedroom has. And number four, the type of paint that we use, which again, it'll affect the higher the sheen goes and the higher um, you know, quality of the paint, the more it's gonna cost. And we'll do one final pan around this room for you so that way you can see what the price is for a bedroom like this one more time. So again, we came at around 475 for this bedroom using a high quality paint and actual paint. And that's a, you know, that's something that's washable. That's, that's pretty much the most popular paint that we see homeowners using and that we use. And Home Advisor came in at this bedroom around 775, which is it's pretty expensive for a bedroom like this. Um, and then Smart Asset came in second, you know, as far as the price goes. And they came at 575, which is, again, you can get up there if there's a lot of prep work, a lot of furniture needs to be moved, a really pristine type of paint, but uh, it's still it's still up there in the price point unless there's a lot of prep work, like I mentioned. But uh, yeah, if you found this video helpful, you know, put some comments down below, give me a like, and uh, look out for another video here in the future. Thank you.